Here is Jason Daname of Canada. A year ago, Four Continents Championships gave him a liftoff. So did the National Championships, but a disastrous short program here in Korea has him in 11th place before the free skate. Jason has not had a good season. He has had injury troubles, boot troubles, and was able to pull it together in his first competition of the year at the Canadian Championship. Not able to uh, pull it together in the short program. His trademark triple axel coming up. Watch the height. Wow. Double toe for his second jump. Well, already a much better start than in the short program for Jason. looks like a mistake purely of fatigue. Jason missed quite a bit of training time with his injury. He's severely asthmatic. It hasn't helped his conditioning at all to take time away from the rink. And at this point in your performance, if you do suffer from asthma, you, you start to stop being able to feel your leg. He's a skater who also uses that short program to set him up for the free skate, so it must be terribly disconcerting to know that he has to come a long, long way up, particularly when he does have that stamina problem. He's on new medication, which he thinks will allow him to train through his asthma. But if he is to make any kind of move up the, 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 uh, the ladder, he's, uh, he's going to have to address his condition. It's going to take a huge effort. his last 30 seconds like he delivered his first 30 seconds be a huge success seconds for Jason Daname look a lot different than the last 40. His marks when we come back to Korea. The cleaning and cavity fighting Jason Daname was second in Canada a year ago. And 
11th at the Four Continents Championships. Keep in mind, that was the year that Elvis Stoico did not compete at the Nationals. He finished fourth in Canada this time around. I really feel for him when he's out there and he cannot get a full uh, breath of air and he, he starts to it lose the painful, feeling in his legs. It, yes, it does. And you empathize with him. It's, uh, it's a real struggle, but you know, his talent is worth sticking with it. He's a great skater. He great is. skater. He's got, he's got everything you need in this sport. And, and a huge triple axle. In fact, one of the best triple axles in the world. One of the best and one of the most consistent. He's just a technically superior jumper. As you can see these marks, he's dropping for presentation as his uh, program just started to unravel at the end. Again, he finished.